COVID-19 cases in India witnessed a rise on Thursday with the country registering 47,092 new infections in the last 24 hours according to the Union Health Ministry data. This brings the total case load to more than 3 crore 28 lakhs. The last time cases were higher than this was 63 days ago on July 1st when India reported more than 48,000 cases. On Wednesday 41,965 COVID-19 cases were recorded in the country. Kerala topped the chart with more than 32,803 cases, followed by Maharashtra with 4,456 cases, Mizoram with 1,992 cases, Tamil Nadu with more than 1,509 cases, and Andhra Pradesh with more than 1,186 cases. These five states reported 89.07% of the new cases. Kerala is alone responsible for 69.66% of the new cases. Former Rajya Sabha MP and senior journalist Chandan Mitra passed away on Wednesday night in Delhi said his son Kushan Mitra. Mitra is survived by his wife and two sons. Chandan Mitra was a nominated member of the Rajya Sabha from August 2003 to 2009. In June 2010 the BJP got him elected to Rajya Sabha from Madhya Pradesh. His term ended in 2016. In 2018 he joined the Trinamool Congress. Chandan Mitra considered to be close to BJP veteran LK Advani was the editor and managing director of the Pioneer. Prime Minister Narendra Modi said that Chandan Mitra would be remembered for his intellect and insights. Kashmiri separatist leader Syed Ali Shah Gilani died at his Hyderabad residence in Srinagar at 10:35 p.m. on Wednesday night. He was 91 years old. Due to his ill health he had kept a low profile for the last few years. His family wants him to be buried at Hyderabad in Srinagar. He is survived by three children, two sons and a daughter. Residents have claimed that there is a security clamp down in Kashmir after news of Gilani's death emerged. Earlier he was an MLA from the Sopor constituency of Jammu and Kashmir in 1972, 1977 and 1987. In 2010 Gilani was charged with sedition and remained mostly under house arrest ever since. In 2020 Pakistan awarded its highest civilian honor Nishane Pakistan to Syed Ali Shah Gilani. Former Chief Justice of India S A Bobde met Rashtriya Swayamsevak Sangh Sar Sangachalak Mohan Bhagwat and RSS ex Sar Karyawah Suresh Bhaiya Ji Joshi in Nagpur. According to sources the former CJI went straight to the RSS headquarters on Tuesday after visiting the residence of Sangh founder Dr K B Hegdewar. However no one from the Sangh has officially confirmed anything about Justice Bobde's meeting with Mohan Bhagwat and Bhaiya Ji Joshi. During his Nagpur tour Justice Bobde was accompanied by his classmate Professor Hemant Jambhekar. He said that former CGI's years old house in Nagpur needed renovation and that is why he had to see how Dr Hedgewar's old house had been preserved. Mumbai police has formed a special 13th squad ahead of the Ganpati festival and has been entrusted with the task of ensuring people follow covid protocols the squad will take action against people who don't wear mask and don't follow covid 19 guidelines starting from thursday mumbai police will start taking action against people who don't wear mask and violate other covid 19 norms mumbai police has also urged ganpati mandals to promote online darshan for devotees however if any devotee is physically going to the mandal A token system and scheduling should be in place to avoid crowding. 